Well, also when we were out, there were some players that got suspended, one for life, three for a year for betting and violating MLB's gambling policy. But the big one that came out over the weekend, Pat Hoberg, umpire, accused of breaking MLB's gambling policy. Pat Hoberg wasn't just like an ump. He called a perfect game in the 2022 World Series. Like you, He was so good at his job that people were like, man, he's one of the best in baseball. And then everyone's like at the beginning of the year like, where is this guy? We haven't seen him all year. Well, turns out it's because he's under investigation and MLB went, nah, you bet on something. You did it. That's a bummer. Dude. It's such a bummer. Because, I mean, this guy, uh, calling a perfect game is no joke. You see it, how rare it is with umpires. It's a very difficult job to have. And he is at the tippy top of it. And figuring out now what's going to be uh, coming out from this. He says he did not gamble on any baseball games. And if that's the case, uh, I just don't care. Yeah. I, I honestly couldn't <laughs> care less. If he didn't bet on baseball... Why do I care? Yeah, exactly. They, here's the thing. Like, I guess you can't bet on anything if you're involved in any sport whatsoever. Which I think that's dumb. I think you should be able to do with what you want with your money in the off season. And as long as it's not affecting your job, it's legal. Go for go for broke if you want to. Not my problem. So and it, and it, and if it's but if it does start to leak into your you know professional life and you are betting on baseball and you have the chance to manip- manipulate the outcome of the game, then we have a problem. Yeah, I think they're getting too generic with their rules. They need to be very specific in the age where gambling can literally be done on your phone. Mm-hmm. So I think they need to get this stuff figured out uh, sooner rather than later because uh, this isn't going to be the last story we hear about this. No, we're going to hear a ton more about it. Um, and I, I have a little bit of a theory here. Lay it on me, pal. Here's my theory. So those four guys who got popped last uh, the beginning of last week, right? Uh, one for the rest of the his for the rest of his life, and the other three for the year. And in that same breath, they went, "Oh, also, uh, Shohei's been cleared. The investigation's done. It's over with. It's over." And then on t- <laughs> and then on top of that, then you get um, mm, very odd. Now an umpire thrown into the mix, and how easy it is to do offshore gambling, where you don't have your IP address tracked, and it's going to like. You know, one of our old sponsors, betonline.ag, which is somewhere in China or somewhere in Europe or all over the all over the globe where these people are gambling. It's so easy to bet illegally, you guys. <laughs> it's so easy. Unless you're a, an umpire for a professional sport. Right. And then they go, oh, we got to throw another one under the bus to create separation between the Otani Ipe situation. How many scapegoats for a goat? <laughs> I think a shekels, 80, 80 million shekels worth. Sounds about right. That we'll figure out. out. Yeah, they're just going to keep building up the pile. Um, and so my theory is, look, something shady was going on there in general. MLB can say it's cleared, whatever they want to say. Okay, mm. There will always be suspicions and doubts. But when you do that thing with the four dudes, it then say, oh, no, 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 Otani's good. You're just hiding in plain sight. Yeah, it seems very strategic that they would release that information on top of that other information that should be a different news story. Yeah. It's like Shohei is its own separate uh, news cycle. The other gambling stuff, I know it's it's comparing apples and oranges, sort of, but like there's one of these apples is super huge. <laughs> He's only like the unicorn, the cash cow for the league, a global cash cow. Yeah, so it definitely feels like they're laundering like some of these other like don't we we're really, you know, tamping it down this gambling stuff here and Shohei's fine, don't worry, we're gonna take care of it. Cause yeah, I mean, yeah, look, yeah. we put on she's four guys. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Oh, oh, there's gonna be more coming. Also, um when just to let you guys know, like uh, you can't bet, but when you walk over to the warm up circle to take your swings, just don't even look at the bet MGM logo on the turf. Also, don't look in left center field where it says fan duel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, on your walk back to the garage and you pull out, don't go to the sports book that's right across the street from the stadium. You do not want to do any of you that. You don't want to do any of this stuff. That's where it's insane. It's talking on both sides of their mouth. So it's going to be something that, again, they're going to have to figure out. They're going to have to get some very black and white rules that make sense uh, because we have we've passed the Rubicon here. Yep. Uh, we need to figure out uh, what's okay and what's not because you're going to have uh, more people like Pat Hoberg uh, getting in trouble. Why couldn't this have been C.B. Buckner? 
Of course, yeah, why couldn't she be Buckner have a like a horrible gambling addiction? God damn it. Then it's going to come out that he does have a horrible ad- Maybe that's how they get rid of all these terrible umpires is they frame them for throwing games by gambling on baseball, but instead they're just really bad at their jobs and baseball's like we're tired of hearing about it, we're tired of seeing it. CB, you place bets with betonline.ag. You're out of here. Here's your pension. Where you can get 15% off using this code. <laughs> <laughs> They're disciplining people while throwing out codes. This person bet on baseball. It's a horrible thing. You cannot go on bet365. Use MLB.com for 15% off your first bet. These people should be punished. <laughs> Those people should be punished to the full extent of MLB's rules. I'm not trying to be all tin hat here, but when you have a lot of media personalities and people come out and say they're like, you know, it's done. Uh, I forget which which reporter it was went on a on a, one of the talk shows and was just like, yeah, don't even question it. The MLB's done it. They've sealed it up. Even if you say something about it, you're gonna look so dumb. I'm like, I'm still gonna question it with my tin hat. When it's right there, and don't gaslight me and make me feel like I'm stupid. Yeah, exactly. Uh, essentially, this game's Mickey Mouse got caught doing something very un Mickey Mouse like, and for them to sweep it under the rug makes so much sense for them, but it makes no sense for the reality of what's going on. There's definitely a lot more questions yeah. than we have answers for, so we're going to keep prying. You're going to keep prying. Look, there was a second shooter. Kubrick filmed the moon landing, and there's something fishy going on with those of this Otani eBay betting stuff. Yeah, my mom's tits are real. Get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's great. 